Hi children, how about you all? I hope you all are fine and enjoying your holidays. Right, and as well as you are writing your worksheets very well. Again. I appreciate for you. And uh, next, we are the class children. Class of code. And what is our subject? Science. Right? Yes. Now, what we have discussed in the previous class? What we have learned on, on the two days and which we are learning about something. What is that? Yes, we are learning about the insects. Yesterday we have learned, what we have learned about the three main different types of insects, right? What is the first one we have learned? Yes, fleas, bugs, bed bugs, and as well as the dragonfly we learned. And what are those characters? What is their lifespan? And where they live? All these things we have learned, right? Today also we are going to learn about the two types of insects. Okay, yesterday we have learned three types of insects. Today we are going to learn about two main types of insects. What's the topic then? Different, different insects. Yes. What's the topic then? Different insects. Here the insect means not only the flying object. Means most of the insects are having the wings, but some of the insects does not have the wings. Does not have what we call the legs. So many things we do. Here we will learn today about the specially moths. What the first one is the moths. I think you heard the name moths. What is the meaning of the moth? Yes, it looks like a moth. Have you seen it before? The same like that here the moths will be in the form of caterpillar. Have you seen caterpillar? But uh, what do you call it? Caterpillar is converted into butterfly. And that type of characters we can see in the moths. And next one we are going to learn about this. Next one is silver fish. Silver fish. These are the two insects we are going to learn about today. What we have learned was the moth and as well as the silver fish. Where do moths live? Yes, come on, can you guess any one of you? Can any one of you? Yes, they live in the air. Now come on. Can you guess anyone? Suppose the silver fish, what about the silver fish? Yes. Can you? Ah, they will be mostly living in cloths and uh, what you call papers. Books, all these things. First of all, we will look at the shape. It looks like a butterfly. It looks like a butterfly. Yes, what is the shape of the moth here? It looks like a butterfly. If you observe the moth, it looks like a butterfly. How the butterflies are they? The same like that. Here the moths will look like, but they are having something different types of things. Here butterflies are also having colors, with, colored wings, right? But here moths are also having different colors and having dots. Mostly dots will be there on the wings. And it is the silver fish. What is the shape of the silver fish? Can you guess? Yes. It is. It looks looks like a insect. Page insect. Yes. How we prepare the paper means the cutting position. The same like that insect of the silver fish will look. Here the shape of the water, what you call here the body structure is in the form of the butterfly. Here it looks like a page. What is the shape of your tail? And what is the shape of looks like a butterfly? And next one, where do they live? Here, different types of insects will be in different places. Oh, I can see only out of here, whatever the reminder is over your videos. Babish, Sai, only the Arabia is right here. I want the reminder to you. Once please open your books. Yes, please. Then next we will look into the place where they live. Yes. They live. They live. Come on, can you tell us they live? They live. Now we have seen about the moths. Means here they live in 
God X Y because it is the more it looks like a butterfly. Way to butterflies you normally or in the gardens or in the park. The same like appears. They live in forest, gardens, whatever we have. They live in the forest, gardens, and what we call them open area. Where they are going to be open area. These are the places. In these places, we can see the moth. What what are the places here? Garden, forest, and the open area. These are the three places we can find most of the moths. Here, the how the moths will look like? Yes, it looks like a butterfly. And where it is going to be? In the forest or in the garden or in the open area. Why these are going to be in the forest? Why? Because they are going to suck the nectar from the flowers. They are going to eat the pink leaves also. Next point we will discuss. Next if you are going to be yes, we leave we leave in bold woods bold plots and moist places and you can say moist places Yes, where do silverfish live? Now, silverfish lives in the where? Bold woods. Normally, every year we are going to change the woods, right? Then suppose if we are in the third class, that you know, that not will not be used for the woods. So we are going to be left that woods. And every year we are changing the woods. Means the left out woods will be eaten by the yes, silverfish. And the bold yeah. Suppose if now daily we are increasing or Every year we are going to use a different types of nuts. Means from the starting season now we are, we have chosen many types of nuts. Some will be left out. So those types of nuts or those types of fruits can be eaten or can be leave by the moth. What is the main thing here? Simple fish. Most of the simple fish live in the cold woods or cold logs. And next one in the moist places. What is the meaning of the moist places? Suppose if our house is having some water area near the wall or near the tank, something, we can see the structures, some white color structures are coming out from the mostly from the wall, you can see from the what we call from the walls also you can see. It looks like that moist place also. Silver fish also will leave in the moist place. Mostly leave in the old books and the that's very good. We are going to see about their food. Okay. They eat. So they eat what they eat. They eat nectar and as well as any leaves. What they are going to eat? Most of the moths will eat the nectar as well as the eggies. Nectar means it is going to suck the nectar from the plants. And next one, eggies. They are going to eat with the help of their mouth parts. Here are the two patterns we have seen for the moths. What is that one? Yes, nectar and the silver is the leaves. These are the two types of food that can be eaten by the moths. Mostly you can see they are going to drink only the nectar. If the nectar is not available in the forest or in the garden, then they need the end leaves. End leaves, end leaves means the starting. Not only the leaves become very, very small leaves, you can see, right? For every plant, you can see first small leaf, then afterwards the leaf size will be increased day by day. The starting point of the leaf will be eaten by the moth. So we have it as the end leaf. So whatever the silver fish, yes, they eat what they eat, they eat gold, they eat book, binding, 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 gums. What they are going to eat, they are going to eat book, binding, gums. And as well as, they are going to eat gold books. And as well as gold 
plants also. There will be gold plants also. Mostly the good item of the silver fish is the book binding. It supports the if we observe the book, when we take out the paper, you can see the line in the middle. The gum here, we can see if you remove yeah. If you remove this part, you can see here some structures, white color structure you can see, but it's everywhere. Yes, that type of gum they are going to eat. So I have said they eat book binding gums. That is, it is a sugary substance. So that most of the silver fish will eat the book binding gums. Here if you observe for any book, if you observe for any book, you can see at the edges here. Yes, if you take, you can take out the gum also sometimes. For most of the books, we cannot available, but they can see. They eat book binding gums and as well as the book. Whatever the laptop is, means if we are not using, if we use regularly, the silver fish cannot attack the books. If we are not using and we have kept in a particular place, then those books can be eaten by the silver fish. And next one, cloths or the gold glass. If we are using the hard cloths daily, no silver fish will going to attack. But if we kept the cloths at one particular place and no need to touch that one, or we are not going to see, then those cloths will be attacked by the silver fish. So what is the food of the silver fish here? Yes, wood binding gums and as well as gold books and the gold cloths are the examples for food items of the insect. What is the insect? Silver fish. And next, they, they can change They can change one place to one place to another place. Means they can move from one place to another place. How they are going to move with the help of wings? They can move with the help of wings. And what about here? Yes, they can walk. They can walk. With legs. If we observe the silver fish, it is having the normal six legs will be there, and the last at the end of the body, we can see two to three antenna like structure, and as well as the front of the body, also we can see two to three antenna like structure. Those are called as the skins, those are useful to take out the body of sensor, those are useful to. Take out the binding means uh, how to use the food and crawling and all these things will be human. How the silver fish is going to walk with the help of its legs. Next, we have seen all these things. Now I will going to show you the pictures, then we will look into the pictures. Then you will get the idea about the problem. Uh, yes, first one, this is a First one, this is called as the mud. If you observe it, you can see it looks like a butterfly. But small difference, you can see the shape of the uh, moth is different. So butterfly, you can draw like a flower. But here, it not looks like a flower. And the mostly those will be in the brown color or in the black color. Moths will be in the brown color or black color. You can observe in the picture also clearly. It is also having antenna at the starting as well as legs also. Legs has closed and you can see the two legs normally. Yes, mostly legs are attached to the thorax. Okay. Next, this is the first one. This is a moth. They is going to be, it is going to leave in the forest or garden as well as in the open area. Next one. Yes, this is a silver fish. If you observe it, the eye volume, the three antenna like structures will be there at the end of the body. In the picture, also you can see. And at the static part, the mouth part, also you can see the two antenna like structures. Those are used to take out the food items and take out which plucking. It will use like a needles. Okay. And those three, that side three, can be used for the movement to move from one place to another place. It does not have wings. Think of it. Does not have wind. So that silver fish will use its antenna like structures backside as well as the front side. Where do silver fish leave? 
silverfish will live in the gold blocks as well as gold blocks. And what it is going to be the same thing, wood binding and gums as well as gold blocks and the gold blocks. Okay, this is about the silverfish. And gum of which I am going to show you. Yes, this is called as the, what we call it, like this? Yes, light insect we will see, right? It is called in English as a five flies. What we call them? Five flies. It looks like a only it will grow in the night time. When the night time it will grow the same as structure you can see, the same like the real insect will be also. If you observe that insect, it is going to produce a light. Here you can see the light, right from the body of the insect. Yes, this, this is the animal of nocturnal animal. Nocturnal means animals which live in the night and which eat in the night and which go in the night and are called as the nocturnal animals. This is the fire fly. What do you call the fire fly? This is the example for nocturnal animal which looks like a moth. What do you call it? Silver fish. So that I have shown you the example. Next one. Yes. What is this one? Can you guess? It looks like a dragon fly, but it is not a it is a may fly. What is the insect name here? May, may fly. What is the insect name? May fly. This is the insect of the may fly. And it is having the blue sharp antler. It is going to suck the nectar as well as it is going to eat the leaves directly. And it, uh, at the last also, how the silverfish is having the three antenna like structures at the last. The same way here for the may, may fly. This is the insect name in the May fly. May fly is also having a long string like structure that is useful for flying and it is useful for sensor. Okay, and you can see the legs also. Six sides will be there. You can see here the two legs, two legs, and those are the front. Okay, now this is about the may fly. It is also a nocturnal animal. Means it will also will eat at the night time as well as it will walk in the night time. All the activities what the insects will do will be done at the night time or called as a nocturnal animals. Next one, Carbo insect. Yes, this is the regular insect you can see. Yes, Carbo also. If we switch off the lights, then immediately from the kitchen you can see many of the cockroaches are coming out from the different places. When the light is a cockroach will not come because the cockroach is a nocturnal animal. Cockroach will eat food, will walk at the night time, everything will be done at the night time. Okay. Okay, now we have seen the insect. What is an insect cockroach? You have seen that. Right? These are the three different animals, three different insects. What are those three insects? Mayfly, firefly, and the cockroach. These are the three insects. These are the three insects called as the nocturnal animals. What we have learned today, many, many insect names. Yes, that is the moth. This is the moth, and as well as we have learned about the silverfish. These are the two fishes we have, two uh, insects we have seen in our lesson for today's class, right? And now we are going to the topic. Yes. Now we will go into the remaining parts also. To show you the pictures, I am going to show you. Now, remaining pictures. What is the lifespan? Yes. Moths will do for they live for yes. Two to eight months. And here some of the insects still the vision. They live for Eight years. How many years are going to live? Yes, they were here. The moths are going to live for the twelve months. How many months they are going to live for the twelve months? What about the silverfish? They live for two to eight years. How many years? Here the silverfish is going to be the largest animal living time, lifespan of the very high to eight years. Here for the moths it is only the 12 months, right? 12 months we have seen. Next, this is called as the living period is called as the lifespan. So we also we have discussed. Living period is called as the lifespan. What we call a living period is called as a lifespan. 
lifespan of the silver fish is two to eight years. Lifespan of the moth is twelve months. And next one we have discussed some of the pictures here. Yes, like the fireflies, uh, mayfly, and the cockroach. These are the three insects. What are the insects number? Yes, mayfly, mayfly, cockroach, and firefly. Yes, these are the three insects. These are the three insects which walk, which eat, which do all the activities only at the night. So these three insects are called as the nocturnal animals or nocturnal insects. What we call them? Nocturnal insects. What we call them? Or not? Nocturnal insects. Because all the times, how we can see some house flies, mosquitoes. What we call them? Butterflies. All these insects will bloom, will move from one place to another place. Yes, in the morning. So that we there is no need for. But some of the insects, like the firefly, mayfly, and the cockroach, these are the three insects which do all the work, like eating, moving from one place to another place, and uh, what we call flying. All these things only at the night. So those are called as the nocturnal animals. Okay? These are the what about the silver? All these are nocturnal animals. No, moth is not a nocturnal insect. Silverfish is also not a nocturnal insect. Only what are these three insects? Only these three insects are the nocturnal insects. Moths and the silverfish will eat the food, will do all the activities only in the morning session. Right? I think you have got the clarity about the topic. What we have discussed today about the different insects. And what are the insects? Moths and the silverfish we have discussed. Right? Each and every insect is having different kinds of food and different kinds of Variations, lifestyle is also different. Yesterday we have discussed about the three insects, dragonfly, and what is the next one? Fleas and the bed bug. The same way we have learned about the moths and the silverfish. What is the shape of the moths here? Butterfly. What is the shape of the silverfish? Yes, tail insect. It looks like a tail. This is the structure, the middle part of the silverfish will look tail insect. They live. Who are going to live in the forest? Yes. Moths will live in the forest, garden, and as well as in open area. Next, the silverfish will live in the old books and the old earth and most in the moist places. Finally, because their food, their food is also the same thing, so they live very well. Next, what is the insect here? Moths will eat. Yes, mostly they will drink the nectar from the plants. If the nectar is unavailable, then they will eat the egg leaves. Egg leaves means the starting leaves. For, uh, starting leaves of a plant are called as a enemy. Those can be eaten by the moths. Here, what they are going to eat the most is book binding gums. And old books and the old gums will be eaten by silver fish. Next, they will fly with the help of their wings. It can be going to walk. Which animal is going to walk here? Silver fish is going to walk with its legs. What is the time period? 12 months. What is the lifespan here? Moths will be only for the lungs and they will use for food and animals. Now we have seen different types of insects, right? And some special insects, what are those? Mayfly, firefly, and the cockroach. These are the three insects will only do all the activities, whatever they want in the night. Those are called as the nocturnal insects. But silverfish and the moths are called as the morning insects only. No need to worry about them. Right? By this we have completed our topic. Okay. By this we have completed our topic. Bye children. Okay, we will meet in the next class. Try to complete the worksheet also.